Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. Now this will be available March 6th from Samsung.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 1,399 bucks. Now it comes in two different colors. You got Cosmic Black and Cosmic Gray. It's gonna come unlocked and it'll be available for all of your carriers. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. For the display, you got a 6.9 inch dynamic AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1440 by 3200. Now that's 511 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and on the back. You got an aluminum frame. You got HDR 10 plus and a 120 Hertz refresh rate. This is crazy. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 with the Adreno 650 GPU. What does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, depending on which market you're in, you got 128, 256, or 512 gigs of storage, and 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte. Now, it's running Android 10 with Samsung One UI 2 skin on top. For the battery, you got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 45 watt fast charging, 15 watt fast wireless charging and 9 watt reverse wireless charging this is crazy for the cameras on the rear you got a quad setup so one is 108 megapixels that's your wide angle you got a 48 megapixel telephoto you got a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 3d time of flight depth sensor on the front you got a 40 megapixel camera that's f 2.2 they also got bluetooth 5.0 nfc FM radio, USB Type-C charging, you got an on-screen fingerprint sensor, face unlock, always on display, all your video wallpapers, you get dual speakers, Samsung DeX compatible, and the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant. So, what's missing from my flagship checklist? Nothing. All right, this phone has everything you need to be a cell phone boss. Now, the only one thing that I will say is missing, no headphone jack, that shit's whack. Hashtag bars. All right, so all of that for 1,399 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes, I love my white calm down. All right, here we go. Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. The G stands for gangster. Nice black box. Now on a side note, this is a review unit. I will be pre-ordering mine tonight at midnight. Y'all know I'm going with Wesley Sipes Black. This is Cosmic Gray. Inside the box, let's see. Now, like I said, since this is a review unit, got your usual books and shit. Should be some more in there, but we'll see. Sim ejection tool. Here's your device. All right, let's get this plastic out of here. Right. Check this out. Woo. Shoes, you know what time it is. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm. This one smells like winning. All right, this is 100% winning. Let's see what else. All right, little card. All right, shoes, I need you to scoop. Now, this is going to be your 25-watt fast charging brick, but the phone is uh, capable of charging 45 watts. You're going to have to buy that one separate. Now, y'all see my fast charging test. These phones charge insanely fast. Okay, let's see what else is in here. This is going to be your... USB Type-C charging cable. These are your AKG tuned headphones with different size ear tips. Now, since there's no headphone jack, these headphones plug in USB Type-C. Nice braided cable, I right, shoes, scoop. Nice braided cable, of course, on the buttons. Got volume up and down, plus and minus, play and pause. These fit, <laughs> these fit nice and comfy in your ears. You see the AKG branding. And that's pretty much it for that. Now let's take a look at the big boy. All right, now this is the big boy right here. This is gonna be the heavy hitter of 2020. Until they come out with a new Galaxy Note, this is it right here. You see on the back, you got your 100X Space Zoom. All right, 100X Space Zoom. Or as I call it, the scumbag zoom. Now if you don't know why, I'll show you when I do my full review. All right, little Samsung Brandon. Now look closely, you see it says 100X. All right, I don't know if y'all can see that with the lighting. All right, quad camera setup. On one side, here's your power button. Let's hit that up. Okay, you got a little juice. Volume up and down. On the bottom, speaker grill, USB Type-C. 
Got a mic on the top, same thing, mic. And on this side, no more Bixby button. All right, so I, I ain't really mad at that. Now the phone has a nice weight on it. All right, it's pretty heavy. But it looks so beautiful. Let me wipe this down. Let Look at that. Get set up more easily by guiding Woo. through the step. I'm feeling this. All right, I'm gonna pause the video. I'll drop my information in, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so I'm in the middle of downloading all my information. This is the perfect time to do a little size comparison with some of the other big Samsung phones. So first, we got a Galaxy S10 Plus. Here's your S20 Ultra. Put them side by side. Ultra is a little bit taller. Definitely has a little bit more weight. Here's your Galaxy S10 5G. Okay, let's see. Ultra's a little bit taller, all right, just a little bit. About the same weight and about the same thickness. Here's your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Okay, let's put them side by side. Okay, the Ultra's a teeny bit taller. Has a little bit more weight. But those cameras, crazy. Now, just for fun, here's your Galaxy Fold. Let's see. Now, the Ultra is a lot taller than this one. But the Galaxy Fold is still the most heaviest phone that I got. And if you unfold it, you see the difference. Now, here's my favorite Samsung phone right now. <laughs> the Z Flip. Believe it or not, this is my favorite phone. Rah. Let's see. Okay, now check this out. Same exact height. The Z Flip is a little bit more narrow but way lighter. Not to mention, you got that flip. Now, say you're coming from an iPhone and you decide to get a real phone. Here's how it's gonna look. iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay, the Ultra is a little bit taller, a little bit wider, a little bit heavier, but a lot of bit better. This part of the video is sponsored by Spigen. Now, when you get your new phone that you just spent over a thousand bucks for, the first thing you want to do is get a case. I'm going to show you one of my favorite ones from Spigen. Now, if you've been on my channel for years, you already seen me review this case a bunch of times. Spigen and Samsung go together like peanut butter and jelly. Whenever you see me with a Samsung phone, you always see me with a Spigen case. And this is my favorite one, the Tough Armor. Now, you can pick this one up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one is 15 bucks. Okay, so let's check it out real quick. Okay. Spigen Tough Armor. Now, this is a two-part style case. TPU with hard shell on the outside. You can separate it if you want. You don't have to. You got your impact-resistant foam on the inside. You got a kickstand that actually locks back into place. Listen to that snap. So no flappage on the kickstand. Let's slap it on real quick. Look at the level of razivity on this. All right, full protection. This one is 100% Slam Boy certified. Nice ridges on that power button, easy access. All right, so there's your buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Let's check wireless charging. Wireless charge on deck. Speaking tough armor. Check this one out. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I've been playing around with it for a little while. And honestly, this might be the first quad major go of the year. And if you don't know what that means, that's a major, 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 major go. This phone is a certified beast. Now, I know what some of y'all gonna say. For over 1,400 bucks, the price is TGH. Yeah, and I agree, the price is pretty high, but here's the thing. If you're spending over a thousand bucks for a phone, this is the phone that you want. You want your phone to be able to do everything. And this phone right here does everything. Let's break it down. First up, build quality. Now y'all know I gotta say it, this phone feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. IP68, dust and water resistant, aluminum frame, Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and on the back. And the phone has a nice heavy weight to it. Now this phone is not trying to be the thinnest and lightest phone on the market. This phone has that man feel to it. 
All right, this is one of them phone phones. All right, this is a real phone. When you hold this in your hand, you're gonna know that you're holding a phone. Premium status, and it feels like a premium device. Nothing cheap at all. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open a device. All right, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You got your face unlock. Bang. I'm gonna look at it. Bang, look at that. Not looking at it. As soon as I look at it, opens right up. And of course, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Works flawlessly. Now you don't have to turn the phone on. You could just tap it while it's off. Real slick, right? Big, beautiful, quad HD display, and the phone is wide. Now I gotta mention that real quick, because this whole week, I've been using the Z Flip. All right, now shoes, I don't, I don't wanna flip you. I've been using the Z Flip. One of the things about the Z Flip with this aspect ratio, the phone is a little bit more narrow. When you pick up the S20 Ultra 5 Gangster, you have this big wide screen. So if you got big fat fingers like me, you're gonna love typing on this phone. Beautiful. Let's take it over to the toggles real quick. Now I'm gonna try to make this quick. I, we don't have to go through everything, but I just wanna show y'all some of the basic features. You got your wireless power share. That's your reverse wireless charging. You got power mode. All right, so let's see. You can, you can put it on different modes if you want. Let's see. Uh, let's turn it on to uh, max brightness. Why not? We'll leave this. Matter of fact, we'll leave. We'll leave all this. We'll leave it on medium power saving mode for now. But if you want, you can put it on high performance mode. Change all the different settings yourself. Let's see. You got your link to Windows computers. You got Smart View connected to your TV. You got a screen recorder. You got your secure folders for your thought protection. You got quick share, you got dark mode, you got your edge lighting, you got music share. Now music share is a dope feature. When I do the full review, I give you a live demo how that works. I'll take it out in the car or something. Music share is so sick. Let's see, let's go to uh, settings. Okay, we'll try to do this briefly. Connections, you got your, let's see, uh, more connections. All right, so you got printing, mirror link, VPNs, private DNS. You got Bluetooth, NFC, and payments. All your Samsung Pay devices work. All right, shoes. All right. <laughs> shoes throwing off my concentration. Let's go to sound and vibrations. Okay, you got your sound quality and effects. Dolby Atmos and Dolby Atmos for gaming. You got an equalizer. All right, so you got pop, classic, jazz, rock, custom. Now, custom, if you want, put on your scumbag settings. Put everything on max. Some people don't like how that sounds. After my testing, I think I like having everything on max. It just sounds better to me. You got adapt sound, go into quiet space, set it up for yourself. You got a separate app for sound. So what that means is, if you connect this phone to a Bluetooth speaker, so you're having a little house party and you're playing your music, this way when you're getting notifications on your phone, you won't hear them over the Bluetooth speaker. You hear them on the phone, your music will still play through the speakers. That's a nice feature right there. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to display. Okay, so let's activate dark mode. Woo! Welcome to the dark side. Y'all see I got on max brightness. This phone gets super bright. But you can throw on adaptive brightness if you want to save battery. Check this out. Motion smoothness. All right, so we got 60 hertz and you got a whopping 120 hertz. Let's drop it on 120. All right, and we'll check that scrolling speed. Should be sick. All right, should be sick shoes. All right, shoes. All right, let's see what else we got. You got your blue light filter, screen mode. You got vivid and natural. And if you go to advanced, you can change your RGBs if you want. Let's see, uh, screen resolution. Now we're gonna put this on WQHD, right? WQHD. Now, of course, all of these intense settings are gonna drain the battery a little bit more, but this phone has a 5,000 milliamp battery and you just spent over 1,400 bucks. Who cares, all right? Run your phone on max. That's why you're buying this phone. All right, full screen apps, screen timeout, 10 minutes. Okay, let's see, anything else? Okay, you got your edge screen, edge panels, edge lighting, navigation bar. Now, I like having my back button on the left, so we'll throw it to the left, but if you want, you can have full screen gestures. Got your touch sensitivity and your screen savers. Wallpapers, y'all don't need to see that. Themes, y'all don't need to see that. Lock screen, you got your always on display. Got your contact information, you got shortcuts. Now you can change the buttons that you want to have on your display. Let's go to biometrics and security, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, Samsung Pass. 
You got your secure folders, aka thought protection. Everything on deck. This phone does everything. All right. That's the, that's the summary of this. Everything. Let's see location. Blah blah blah. blah advanced features. All right. Side key. You can have your side key. Wake up Bixby. But I'll leave that for my power off menu. Double press. Launch the camera. That's your World Star Hip Hop button. Pop up view. All right. Now pop up view. I'll show you how that works. Let's see. What do I get? I get a lot of Gmails. And I get a lot of YouTubes. All right, so now when I get a notification, it's gonna have a little pop-up ball. I can just tap on it and immediately go to that app. Screen recorders, I will leave that on. Delete sh uh, shared screenshots, no evidence. Motions and gestures. All right, so you got lift to awake the device, double tap to awake device. Let's see you got smart stay. Leave that on, so every time you're looking at the phone, as long as it recognizes your eyes, the screen will stay on. You got your smart alerts, easy mute, palm swipe to capture. That's your uh, screenshots. Swipe to send or call messages. So from your call log, if you see a number, swipe over to the left, you can directly call that number. Swipe over to the right, send them a message. Now, you're gonna need that palm swipe because this is a big phone. So that's easier than looking for the buttons. And once you do your screenshot, you can edit it or share it directly from there. Okay, let's see, video enhancer, we'll leave that on. Game launcher, we'll leave that on. One hand mode. All right. Now this phone is almost seven inches, so one hand mode if you got small hands. Let's see, digital well-being. All right, and your parental controls. Monitor your scumbag life. Let's see, you got apps. No need to check that out, general man. Accessibility. All right, so if you're hearing or visually impaired, you're good to go. Software update, tips and, tri uh, tips and tricks, <laughs> tips and help about phone, blah blah blah. Android 10 VIP. So far, this phone is running super smooth. All right, 12 gigs of RAM. You're not going to have any problems. 120 hertz refresh rate. Matter of fact, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to Samsung.com. Opening web page. Okay. That scrolling speed feels nice and smooth. Now, this is a big website. That's all of the pictures. No problems with that. And, of course, you got your split-screen multitasking. Let's, uh, let's open up YouTube on the bottom. Okay. Take it over to video real quick. Let's exit out of this one. Let's check out this display and speakers. Let's get max volume. Look at this. Woo. Let's see the quality on this one. Let's go to uh, 1080p. This is beautiful. Full screen. Dual speakers on this one. All right, let's look this low. Now, I'm down here on my Wi-Fi connection. Okay, here we go. Now, let's check for them dual speakers. Cover up the bottom completely. You still hear it from the top? It sounds amazing. Look at this. This is how you want to watch your videos. Oh, I'm feeling this right here. These speakers sound incredible. Let's wait for the wind. This is a good match right here. That look like that look like how I be doing it. Look at those viewing angles. Woo! One more hit. Let's see if Saget can bring this one back. Oh, it's over. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. You got your world star hip hop button. Press that twice. That'll take you right to your camera. Let's go through the different modes. You got single take. You got photo. Now from photo, you got your wide angle. You got your 5x zoom. And watch this. Keep zooming, keep zooming. All the way up to 100x. That's your space zoom. 
Now, the side note, when I said scumbag Zoom, if you don't know what that means, then chances are you're not a scumbag. And that's a good thing. But all y'all scumbags out there, when you take this to the beach with 100x Zoom, do I need to spell it out for you? <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Now, personally, I don't do that kind of stuff, and I don't condone that. But it's there should the situation present itself. You got videos. Let's take it over to more. You got pro mode, panorama. You got food, night mode, live focus, live focus video. <laughs> All right. You got pro video, super slow motion, regular slow motion, and you got your hyperlapse. Now, you can also go to add more and customize them if you want. Let's go to video. Take it over to settings. All right. So the max video size on the rear, 8K. All right, you got 8K video. You also got 4K, 60 frames per second. We'll leave it on that. Let's see, for the uh, front video, max resolution, 4K, 60 frames per second. That's coming from your front-facing camera. You got your video stabilization, and of course, deactivate shutter sound for your clandestine photos. Now, when I do my full review, I'm gonna show y'all a bunch of different pictures and videos. We're gonna test out the stabilization. That video is going to be a movie. Right? It's going to be about an hour long. Get your popcorn ready. Let's wrap this up. All right, so before I get out of here, I want to show y'all one more thing. Let's take a look at reverse wireless charging. All right, so you're going to go to your toggles, activate wireless power share, put your phone down on the table. Now, say you're having dinner with your girl and she got an iPhone. Charge up the phone from your phone. This is so sick, and it works on any phone that has wireless charging. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G a tentative quad major go. Now that's subject to change when I do my full review after I actually use it for a week, but as of right now, I can't find anything that I really don't like other than my usual petty gripes. This phone is a certified beast. It does everything that I need my flagship phone to do. And not to mention the build quality, the feel, the camera, the display, the fingerprint sensor, always on display, video lock screen, plenty of storage, plenty of RAM, plenty of battery. Like I said, this is the year of Samsung right now. <laughs> we got this. We got the Galaxy Fold. We got the most fun phone that I've been using, the Z Flip. Three heavy hitters to choose from, and it's only the beginning of 2020. Now, when I do my full review, if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover, leave it in the comments, but y'all know, it's gonna be a movie, I'm gonna go through everything. Hit me up in the comments, let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+, shout out to all the Google gangsters, I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer, and a special shout out, to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot two to beam up, me and Shoes. Alright, Shoes, let's get up out of here. Energize. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A71.